What's up guys? It's sister here and I know I know we don't see me doing solos, but Today's the day where that all changes because I don't know <laughs> But basically as you all know, it's spooktober so we're gonna be playing a bunch of spoopy games and As you can see from the title, I'm gonna be playing perception. I've been really wanting to play this game for a while now and What better way than to play obviously when it's all spoopy outside? Well, I mean, not entirely, because it's not almost, uh, I guess it's the first day of October, but close enough. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna jump right in. I hope you all enjoy me losing my sanity, because if you don't know, I get very easily jump scared. It doesn't even have to be audio. It could be something pumping, popping out of nowhere, and I get scared. I'm sure I can find a clip of that and put it boom right there. You see me being scared shitless. But it's gonna be interesting, so. Wish me luck. Okay, I was wondering what silent mode was because I was trying to adjust the damn thing. Um, Chatty Cassie, I'd like to get to know my characters. Cassie will talk a fair amount, recommended. Silent Night is I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak blah, 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 will only speak for plot critical lines. Screw that. Cass Cassie speak to me. Oh my god, there's three different modes. Okay. Story. Experience the ghost story of Echo Bluff free of significant danger for narrative enthusiasts and enthusiasts and explorers. Spooky. A mix of story and danger. The original version of the game. Dying brings you to the entrance to the Echo Bluff with all your progress intact. For people who enjoy a bit of risk and scary enemies are much more aggressive dying brings you to the main menu for those who enjoy a challenge okay so basically this one's just narratives you want to know what the hell the story's going on this is like the harder mode like you're gonna like die and then spooky is just the basic original version with the story and a bit of spookiness um we're gonna take a risk it's, even though i do like being explorer and enthusiast i want i want the main of the game and we're gonna get that through spooky mode. I'm gonna regret this later, but <sighs> here I go, boys and girls. I feel like that was the Hunger Game freaking echo in the background. Like, do, 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 do. oh shit! Inspired by true. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of a fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. <laughs> right, excellent. Ooh. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. Um, excuse me? I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Excuse me? Why would you go somewhere you see in your nightmares? I don't go to places where I see in my nightmares. I stay home. Where it's safe. For the most part. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm outside. Alright, alright. My phone is vibrating. How do I check that? Hello? Cassie, I'm on my way to stay put. Look. Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want to sleep. I want my life back. And I want to prove I can do this. Explore for next goal. Okay. Jesus Christ. Can I crouch? Okay, crouch button is C. Right. 
let me take a moment here. Who in their right mind would go to somewhere they see in their nightmares because they want to prove the world? Like, tell me. I know I am blind, but like, holy crap, I would not go somewhere where I can't see. I never been. I... Hold me. I hear creepy ass shit in my ears. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Yeah, probably. Rope. Chapter one. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? A rope, a ticket, and an apple? I'm gonna see something in, like in the dark and she can't see it. We're gonna like see a figure or whatever. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. Yeah, deep breath, Cassie. You're an idiot. Dearest Richard. Happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? The hell was that? Can I close the door? Can I close the door? I'm going the right way, cause... What was that? I gotta go that way? Okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Hello? Ah! 
Oh shit! Oh, my heart is pounding. I can't do anything. Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> oh, there she is. But I love this song. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Okay, so what I'm thinking is she was in an orphanage. Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? There it is, the rope. I'm gonna close this. I don't want to hear the freaking plane. Holy shit! God bless America. I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope for my dreams. What the hell does it mean? <sighs> damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. We should have left that one buried in the backyard. That was not an echo. Downstairs. What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big. Oh, wait. I didn't what the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. So that's the door we gotta go back downstairs. I'm assuming I gotta go through the door. I came through. Or not. Gotta go to the door they creepily opened for me. and I just 
forgot. What the hell? Who's here? Gotta close the door and be like, nope. sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Wait a minute. How the frick am I upstairs? Outside, really? What the fuck was that? You're imagining things, Cass. Let's hope you are. Speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluke sodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. Her husband. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Yeah. New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. That thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. Is she seeing things? I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Where are they going? I gotta go over there. She's so perfect. It's almost like she's hard to look at. My eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. Over there. 
What does that mean the house is listening? Am I banging my cane too loud? Jesus Christ, I should have done the freaking story mode version. Where you know the monsters don't come after me as much. But then we don't get the true experience. Well, I mean, I guess you get you could. You still get the atmosphere, you just won't get chased. Okay, nothing's coming, so I can move right out. Messages. Anything. Why that? Messages. Why those items? Michael, hey there, Cass. I just they got word you're heading to Massachusetts. That's quite the trip. Me, hey Miller. Yep, I'm on the tarmac. Good times. Michael, really? Like just now? That's a pretty long flight. Why mess? Michael. Michael, hey there, Cass. Michael, hey there, Cass. I just got word you're heading to. No, oh, well, I can't go through them all. Let's see here. Dose one, 50 milligrams of amipramine, along with a hundred milligrams of morphine for pain. Patient is woozy, but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. What is the pain for? Or dosage for? I get it, kids are hard to deal with, but it's like. Dose 2. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of monoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Excuse me? Like, dude, your wife's just pregnant. Okay, Dr. B. What interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. I have to go over there to get the freaking code. Screw that, we're just gonna guess it. Cha-ching! Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this... Body, I don't want any more pills. I don't like where this is going. Let's see here. Dose one. Let's see here. Dose All right. one. Fifty milligrams of amipamine, along with a hundred milligrams of morphine for pain. Patient is woozy, but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. Okay, 
Yeah, I think that was supposed to be a jump scare or something, but it, I don't think it, like, load properly. So it just appeared to, like that. I don't know. Oh, there's something here. Don't know where it's coming from, but sometimes I see this... thing. Don't know why, but I just have to paint it. Even if it's... just to get it out of my periphery. Doors on the other side. Okay. Back outside. Really? Scan with Don Delphi. Delphi. Text I'll eventually speech. pronounce it correctly. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow, Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. Song. Four, the noises. Five, misaligned yeah, chakras. Was she having visions too? Holy shit! Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. Alrighty, well, um, I think I'm gonna end it here for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think of the game so far in the comments below. This game has gone from weird to creepy to what the hell is even going on in this world anymore. I can't wait to dive more into the madness and see what else is gonna scare me. As always, guys, stay beautiful. Bye!